Hey guys, and welcome back. Today, we're gonna be talking about, I don't know, what are we gonna be talking about? Hold on, let me clean this. We're gonna be talking about technology. That's what we're gonna be talking about. Actually, what we're gonna be talking about is a bunch of randomness, all right? That's, that's what we're gonna be discussing today. Um, random thoughts in my mind as we walk through Merida, Mexico. Um, actually, yeah, so today's episode is going to be just a bunch of that. We're just going to be talking, walking and talking like we we love. Uh, you guys really love these episodes and uh, they're fun to make, so let's do it. So usually a lot of times when I'm walking around and doing these episodes, we're just talking about um, Mexico and, you know, stuff about living out here and being out here. So today we're actually going to switch it up a little bit since I make all kinds of content for the channel. Um, and I get a lot of crossover, you know, meaning, uh, you know, some of you crypto guys out there, you know, you guys are really interested in my Mexico videos, some of you Mexico guys out there, guys and gals, a lot of gals out there too. Um, you guys enjoy, um, you know, my motivational videos, my crypto stuff. You guys asking me, you know, we're all learning together. So today we're going to combine them. We're going to do a, um, what do you call those episodes? A crossover episode, all right? So we're going to be walking through Mexico and we are going to be talking about random shit that's happening all around the world. Um, we're going to start off with technology, though. Today, one of my local friends sent me uh, this um, this news uh, article, this internet news article, talking about um, how Merida, Mexico is one of the, you know, one of the... I'm trying to translate it from Spanish. But anyways, one of the tech hubs of the world right now. And I was pretty surprised. I had no idea. I mean, I know there's a lot of tech out here. I know there's a lot of growth. I know there's a lot of really, really cool stuff happening out here. But um, I didn't know. Uh, I guess I guess don't walk there. Anyways. All right. Sorry. <laughs> I'm trying to do like three things at once here. Chew, chew gum and walking ain't my, uh, those aren't in my skill set. So, like I was saying, um, yeah, so like I was reading that thing, and so like Merida, Mexico is like number 13 in the world as one of the most uh, tech-friendly tech places, you know, out there. In fact, the article was saying, literally the article was saying that uh, Merida, Mexico is going to be like the Mexican Silicon Valley, or it has, a, you know, it's, it's uh, moving in that direction, and, uh, and they started naming other major Mexico cities and including Mex you know Mexico City itself and so on and so forth and they were just literally saying as to and um, and giving a lot of detailed examples as to all right let me cross the street as to how you know Merida is you know could again be the next uh, Silicon Valley and um, you know just from my experience out here you know out in the States I've realized that you know again this place you know definitely could be that and I'm gonna tell you why I'm gonna tell you why, like, um, basically because if you go to like their actual Silicon Valley back home, you'll, you'll notice a lot of similarities, you know, when it comes to, you know, just talking about um, like the arts. It's very culture heavy. It's very left leaning and so on and so forth. So a lot of, uh, a lot of the similarities that we have from the actual Silicon Valleys, you know, not just uh, the, the original Silicon Valley, you know, back in San Francisco, and Seattle and that part of the world but basically um, you know any other silicon type valley you know um, that's popped up throughout the, the rest of the world so you know that's that's really fucking cool you know that's really cool that being out here is uh, one of these places now look this is for my friends out there chicken pizza chicken pizza see <laughs> so um, what was I gonna say so yeah, you know, um, I'm, I'm trying to wonder if I should walk on that side of the street. It's pretty hot, but it's cloudy, so that's good. See, you got some cloud cover. It's not so bad. My favorite car is out here. This this is like um, like you know the car that everybody has out here. The I know you hear me talk about it all the time. I love. I'm trying to. I'm, I'm starting to start like a collection of pictures. Um, every time I see those cars, I take um, I, I take pictures of them and shit. Starting my own little, you know private collection so <laughs> oh they were waving see like they, they saw me um like they saw me filming and they were all waving anyways anyways I, I don't think i caught it but um 
So, you know, let's just talk about the random thoughts in my head right now um, as we walk. All right. You know, it's funny because a lot of times I, I, I think that I, I, I mean, I, I can't look, look, by the way, look at this. So I'm walking and look at this. I don't know. I don't want to touch it. Could be dangerous. But again, you know, it's just things like that, you know, that I know it sounds crazy, but the way I was raised, you know, it's, you know, we see shit like that all the time. Like that electrical wire just fucking hanging out of nowhere. You get fucking electrocuted. It's your own fucking fault. Why the fuck did you touch it? You know, that's the kind of shit, you know, in the U.S., it's, um, you know, they closed off that whole fucking street just to, you know, just to fix uh, that little light, you know. I don't want to get into all the details of uh, my ramblings there, but um, let's talk. Let's talk a little bit more about the things that are going on in the world. So, you know, let's talk about this. Let's, let's, let's keep it on tech. All right. Let's keep talking about tech. So, you know, there's a lot of people out there, you know, and me included, for a little while, not anymore, not anymore. But, you know, there's a lot of people out there that are, you know, kind of like scared of like this, no, this whole um, technological um, explosion that we're all witnessing and seeing right now. You know what, I think I'm gonna cross the street. It's too fucking hot over here. Man, I chose like the wrong possible time to cross. Worst time. Yeah, let me get some shape. It's just really hot, man. You have no idea how hot it is right now. I'm in the middle of the street. Doing that jaywalking shit. All that all these illegal illegal activities. I'm always jaywalking, I'm always cussing, I'm always doing all these horrible things. Anyways. That's why I'm a bad I'm a bad boy. That's why I live out here with the other bad boys. Um well, oh yeah, so let's go back to like the technology and the asp, you know, and all that stuff. So you know, when you travel, when you really start seeing like the rest of the world in the sense of like look look at Mexico. You know, Mexico's considered like one of the you know, again, like this part of Mexico, the Yucatan is considered one of the technological hot hotbeds in the future. Um, and it's not just here, but if you go, um, you know, to other parts of the world, you know, you'll see a lot of uh, Asian countries or even India. What would I, India is in Asia, but you know what I'm saying. And so, like, you'll see a lot of. Uh, hold on, I'm trying to figure. I think I got to cross here, man. I'm such a fucking retard. I am so retarded, man. I just crossed the street and I got to go that way now. Anyways, all right, let's let's do this again. Ah! <laughs> all right, look how beautiful all this shit is out here. Anyways, <laughs> um, you know that's another thing too, man. You know, people might look at me with a weird face out here. You know, those are people that that direction you weren't looking at. But it's like the minute that you look at them and you smile, they smile back. And it's just like this whole human uh, interaction that happens, you know, where I, I'm, I'm used to carrying the camera already a long time. And I remember in the States, not everybody was so, there was no smiles. So it was very rare to get smiles back. Very rare. Here, it's very rare not to get a smile. All right. I'm trying to think. Where's the sun? Hold on, hold on. All right, I think we're going to be all right here. All right, what was I saying? What was I saying? So, you know, when, when you start looking at the bigger picture, you know, like the huge big picture as to where we are as a human species and where technology really is, again, you know, we're very, 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 very far away from, you know, robots or machinery, you know, taking all our jobs. Again, you know, like seriously, look at just this one job right there that this individual is doing. I'm telling you right now, no robot is going to be replacing that job anytime soon. No, no robot is going to be replacing that job anytime soon at all. They're just not. And um, when, you, when you hear a lot of the things that you hear back in the States or in a, any developed country about, you know, the robots taking our jobs and all this, like, listen, man, all that is is a lot more of that fear mongering that you, you know, we're already used to, you know, fear mongering and uh, creating uh, you know, a constant state of fear so that the population is controlled is something that we are very used to coming back home from coming back home. But like out here, 
if you're if you're out here or and you're in other parts of the world, you know, and you fucking start talking about like, oh, how robots are gonna take over the world, you know, they'll literally laugh in your fucking face because they're like, oh, really? So there's gonna be robots out in uh, in whatever village a few miles from here. Oh, there's gonna be fucking robots over there and doing this and like, no, no, none of that shit. In fact, let's just go down to business and economics. The only time that you're gonna see fucking robots replacing humans, um, like in a place like let's say here or China or India, listen, those robots have to make that product or do that service or do that job cheaper than a human slave. We're very far away from that. All right, let's just look at it like in that in those terms. Okay, let's look at it in those horrible fucking terms. You know, we're very fucking far away from that. All right, so. Um, the whole automation and, and all that stuff and the robots Look man, that's not You know, that, that, that's not something that's gonna be happening any and like any day now any day soon You know, we're still like at the very very beginnings of this, you know, just to, like imagine where we are with robots right now That's kind of like where we might be. I mean where we are with like the TV or the radio a hundred years ago type of shit You know what I mean? We're very fucking far away before any of this shit makes any kind of like real impact on our lives. We just are. And so, yeah, granted, you know, 50, 60 years from now, it might be a completely different fucking story. I totally agree with you there, but not now. Definitely not now. And um, so, you know what I mean? Like, that's just one little example. You know what I mean? Like, there's so many, there's so many factors when it comes to like, you know, when it comes to technology in which, um, you know, we still have to develop, you know, before we get to a certain point of, uh, you know, the robots and the fucking technology took over. We're, you know, again, you know, this is very, very far away. Look, they just built this right here. It's like a new uh, convention center, government building, whatever the fuck. So, you know, Right now, you know, again, you know, we have all this awesome, uh, you know, technology all over the world, but, you know, let's just talk about Gary Vee real quick. So, you know, we're, we're all scared about, you know, we're not scared. We're all pissed off about the whole Facebook situation and what Facebook does in the United States and Europe and a lot of places, you know, not just with the censoring, but how they take your information, you know, all the shit that they do. But if you go to other parts of the world and you're looking at Facebook, you know, out here in Mexico, everybody uses Facebook. That's like the, what to use. I mean, people use Facebook as a Craigslist, as a dating app, um, and for a million fucking things. And they don't see anything wrong with um, with Facebook. And you know why? Because the government out here is enforcing Facebook to do certain things in order to harass the population. And so since that's not happening, you see something like Facebook out here, you know, they're just fucking killing it. And, and other places like this, because they're actually, they're actually serving the purpose that when which you know what they were created for you, you follow me and you know along the lines of all that shit so you know there's just we got to look at when we're looking at everything that we talk about you know um technology uh you know the robot takeover um politics uh, you know we gotta look at the whole fucking world we gotta look at everything that's happening all over the place so sure you know let's just look at the united states of america and you know how the empire is falling how europe is probably not going to be around you know all of uh, the eu is not going to be around in a few years so, yeah all of these countries are going to be around um and the eu might take a different form and who knows what the fuck's going to happen there but at the end of the day um uh, you know everything is all about yin and yang and and, and you know and uh you know remaining in balance and all that good stuff so you know, with that being said, uh, you know, if the U.S. falls and Europe falls and all that shit falls, well, what, what do you think is going to happen to all these other nations that are already on the ground? What, do you think that they're going to fall further? No, they're not. We're, li we're literally witnessing a bunch of other nations, you know, whether it's, you know, Mexico or, you know, I don't know, pick your nation in Central America or you go to Asia or you go to other parts of the world. You know, you're seeing a, the complete opposite. You're seeing this humongous amount of growth. You're seeing a humongous amount of innovation. You're seeing uh, like so many things. So look, another one. So many fucking things. That is, uh, it's kind of like, again, you know, like we gotta just put the whole thing into perspective as to, you know, what's going on and where we're going with everything here. So if all of a sudden, you know, we, we create these robots and we create these, uh, 
you know, these factories, you know, these AI, um, you know, giant, giant, this, you know, these, this AI, uh, you know, this, this whole, this whole image of, uh, of technology, which is no bueno. If we really like, you know, want to like push that ahead and, and say that, you know, that's where we're heading again, you know, people had just have, uh, people are not really looking at the big picture here. Um, there's so much work. There's so many things. There's so many jobs. There's so many humans. There's so much that needs to be done and built. Like, um, if you think that the, the, the world has built up a lot of things. Oh, look, I guess this is where they meet up. I did not know that. Interesting. So this is the stop, huh? This is where everybody gets on. So, you know, if, if we're looking at, you know, just what happened in the last hundred years. And we are picturing... You know, all this stuff, you know, whether it's the flying cars, you know, the smart home, you know, the smart grid, you know, all of the fucking things that we, we think of all the time and talk about all the time. Plus the things that we haven't even thought of yet. If we just like kind of project that as to, okay, this is the future. This is where we're going with all this shit. You know, it's like, you know, the next question is, is like, how are we going to get there? And if you really start breaking it down as to how we're going to get there, um, how all this is going to be achieved, you realize that it's not going to just happen overnight. And not only is it not going to happen overnight, but there's just so many other more hurdles that we need to be crossing before we get to that point. You know what I mean? Like, it's not even... It's, it's not as dire as, uh, as a lot of people think out there. You got to remember, again, if you come to a place like here and you talk about AI or robots or, or technology out here, it's 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 viewed in in, in, a, in such a beautiful marvelous thing when you go to asia and you're talking about ai and robots and and all that shit you know what i mean they love robots you know over there they're teaching robots on how to you know be kind and and be you and friends to humans and and you know pretty much all the robots that uh that you see on tv whether it's rosie from the jetsons or or bender you know what i mean like whatever if you understand anything about ai you kind of and you realize that all this is is just a giant learning machine and all these all these other machines are going to be learning and doing all this other stuff when you when you fucking realize all that shit you know it's like again you know it, it, robots are not going to be terminator 2s everyone thinks that we're going to we're just going to have a giant you know like so many fucking terminator 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 2s out there but the reality is i think that we're going to have a lot more benders and rosies than anything else and um just like we have right now you know what i mean it's like it, it's not it, you know we got to remember that you know who is the one that's designing this narrative of fear and we need to like remember who's writing that script and then we also have to remember that we are the creators of our own script and that we are the ones that are writing our own future our own destiny our own everything and that we have to like not only be 100 percent fully aware of that but we need again you know we project um everything you know meaning that um if if if, if we as a human conscious all around the world you know are thinking that you know all this technology is going to be the end of humanity then it probably will but if we're all thinking the complete opposite where all this technology and all this awesomeness is going to be the enhancement to humanity it's going to be the thing that's going to finally eliminate these uh slavery chains away from us and and all these you know all this other stuff if we if we look at all this stuff in that way and as a collective human experience we're all thinking like that then i really do think that we have a, a, a major chance to, to coming out you know to coming out pretty good out at the other end and i really do think that if we're if we're gonna count every every single human out there all the billions all around the world i think that the, the, the in totality the human consciousness is more on the positive side than on the negative side and you know just to go back to the end of you know the end of an empire which is what we're you know i think this thing stops recording at 20 minutes but i um, i was watching it so i think i caught it so you know just to come full circle to end this thing here you know it, it, it's it's all about that narrative and it's all about um you know that control that that total control we're at the end of an empire you know whether it's uh, the us the europe you know all of that shit. and um if you look at any other end of empire um situation all right let's try this one last time i think it's just the camera's overheating um again if we just go back to the history books and we look at any kind of situation like this where it's been the end of an empire and the whole fear-mongering thing this is what we're witnessing right now 
um, no matter what what, uh, what end of the spectrum you're at mo if, again if you're um, in Europe and the United States any kind of first world uh, situation it's all about fear 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 mongering and they they're, they're going through every avenue humanly possible you know again if they're if they can get you to shit your pants because of robots or because of immigrants or because of whatever that's what they're gonna do because it's it's all about control and that's all they're trying to do is control you control the narrative control everything so it's this is why it's our job to be in control of our minds be in control of the narrative be in control of really everything you know what I mean like um, that we have control of which is this and um, if we are if we actually do our homework if we can if we really look into these things and not just go by the talking points that you know everyone wants us to to believe in then all of a sudden we have this thing called knowledge we have power and um, that is the most scariest thing and uh, if, again you know just to finish this whole thing off that's why right now there's a, you see a lot of people like me and others out there in YouTube space or the internet um, we are writing books you know this is the equivalent of writing a book you know writing books writing knowledge uh, creating knowledge creating 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 because at the same time we're witnessing a lot of you know people out there that are literally burning books you know whether it's Amazon not wanting to sell books whether it's certain places that don't want to publish certain things anymore um, people getting um, censored and so on and so forth so it's a beautiful time to be alive it really is a beautiful time to be alive and if you know what really is going on and you park yourself correctly man you know you, you could be really uh, enjoying life as I'm as I'm doing right now and this is why I, I try to like you know I, I do this every day because I want you guys to, to have the same power that that I'm that I have and then hopefully if all of us collectively um, are empowered then then we can actually do something and change the world uh, in a positive way and I think that we are we are all doing that already even if it's just changing one person at a time and again even if all I do is just change one person or help one person or or, or enlighten one person I've done my job and um, that's it so guys I love you I love you to death but I'm gonna I, I gotta get going because the camera's overheating again and this thing's gonna turn off so Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to please like, please subscribe, please share, please hit that bell icon. Um, and, you know, do all that good stuff. Hit me up on Patreon. Hit me up everywhere. And, um, guys, don't forget to stay awesome. And um, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I know I did. It was actually pretty fun. All right. See you guys. I got to go to Walmart. The evil corporation. <laughs>